how do been back from the UK Games Expo. Where I took a punt and picked up sword and sorcery. Now this is the second core set they uh, released. I'd never played the first one. It's called Ancient Chronicles. I believe it's still being uh, delivered as a Kickstarter in its in its full form. But this is the retail box. It's got some nice high fantasy artwork on there, as you can see. It's by Ares Games. I also picked up. Uh, the Spawn Gates and God Altars, which is a little expansion pack that gives you some extra plastic pieces over the card. And I got the um, Ghost Soul Form Heroes. And the reason I picked up these is because uh, in this game, you are you start off as a, as a ghost, essentially. You're dead and the gods have resurrected you to do their bidding. You're immortal. You can't die as such until you've completed their quest. Um, you, uh, if you do die, uh, you know, in brackets, uh, then you go back to a sort of a kind of an altar, like a spawn, spawn point, and then you can uh, spend souls to resurrect yourself back into corporeal form, and then you can continue on. But you will have downgraded your stats. Um, so I'll show you quickly the miniatures in the tray. Uh, obviously there's a few heroes missing because I'm testing out the first scenario. Uh, the uh, boss, enemy boss is quite nice, there you go. I'll probably do a more in-depth review on the miniatures at another point. Um, but they're slightly different to your normal sort of uh, dragons. And uh, it's got a sort of high fantasy feel to it. So I'll give you a quick spin around and give you a look at uh, what it's about. I've put the tokens, and there's a lot of tokens, into an organiser. There are lots. And it does seem quite overwhelming when you first look at it. There are three books included. This is the rule book. Uh, but we're going to give it a go. It's quite in-depth. You get the Book of Secrets. Now in this, uh, this is a, the, the thing that pulled me towards this, this game was it's a story driven narrative. So at certain points during the um, game, you will trigger uh, events where you will read from the, the storybook, which I'll show you in a second. And also you'll get to chapters uh, where it will, you will have to read from the book of secrets. So the story evolves as you go along and you're ranking up your characters. Uh, this will take you to level four, I believe, this this uh, core set. And if you want to go from level four onwards, you will need to buy one of the expansions. Uh, I'll only do that if we finish this, obviously. There's no point buying an expansion when it was too high a level. There are lots and lots of cards, as you can see, and I'm still trying to get my head around what they do. It has got these quite nifty um, sort of level up dials where uh, if you're playing the lawful version of the character, it's that side and you just flip it straight over if you're playing the sort of uh, uh, chaos side. And it all changes the four stats when you level up, which is quite cool. Um, there are many cards that you attach to your dashboard, including sort of uh, like um, extra abilities and you can get sort of uh, talents on some of them which you can choose and also starting weapons from the stash like swords tells you what dice you roll and what effects they do at what ranges and if you roll certain things what it will give you uh, also you can track how many souls uh, you are collecting and then you can spend souls to level characters up you can only level up in sequence so everybody has to be leveled up to one level before anybody can go to the next one uh, the dice are D10s and they are custom. They have certain sigils on them, uh, like double combos and hits and double hits and that kind of thing. Red is better than blue for attack and blue is better for defense than red, obviously. Uh, but you do roll some blues in attack uh, 
if he's if he's not as powerful a character or a weapon. Um, the storybook that I talked about, there you go, is another quite lengthy thing. This this is the first one that I'm going through. It tells you what tokens you need, and uh, story events and waypoints, which where the references. There are five characters. Another cool thing in this one over the first edition apparently is that you can visit cities in between quests and you can you can buy weapons and that kind of thing and there's these are sort of mini cards to tell you what you need to roll at certain events. You get this kind of thing in uh, you know like Shadows of Brimstone but on a, on a larger scale than that and they've, they've introduced that style into this and I always thought in Shadows of Brimstone it was quite a cool little touch. Here we have a this is a looks like a non-quick quick reference sheet there are a lot of rules to take into account with this and a lot of effects i will say that the artwork um, is superb and the quality of the cards is very very high if you look at the color on these as opposed to some of other dungeon crawlers that you might have seen in the past the double-sided very clear you draw a line of sight from the x now it's not always in the center sometimes it's off and you can't obviously can't draw lines out through walls these areas can be sort of heavy going terrain like hindered and you're drawing line of sight from there to there or there to there that kind of thing and it's uh, it's got a nice it's got a nice feel to it sort of an outdoor one and some steps Try and show you a good selection of samples. So this is just a quick overlook if you're interested in looking at the game. These are the ghost forms of the characters that I'm playing. I've seen them painted up, not these, but the uh, the main characters, and uh, they paint up really, really nicely by people who are far better at painting than me. <laughs> You can also get, uh, like I say, these are the spawn tokens in plastic. And you can also, if you wish, get the doors in plastic. But I'm not too bothered about that because there's only about three or four doors uh, are ever going to be on the board at any one time. And these are quite nice, to be fair. Um, I think uh, minions. If I would suggest what you would get if you were looking at uh, buying the core set, get the ghost forms, get the... Uh, Altars and portals, these are quite nice. And get the minions, that's why I didn't pick up because I wasn't I didn't understand anything about the game. The minions are sort of like tiny little spiders and things that you might find you get a token for. So you get that as a cardstock reference, and obviously it's better if it was in plastic than a, than a cardboard token. Um and that's it for this overview. There's a whole stack of, of treasure. The AI system for the enemies is really cool. You will draw an enemy card, uh, usually stating which ones you will mix into the deck for a particular section. And then uh, some of them will draw uh, an enemy power card. And this tells you how it will attack and that will affect the card that you draw. So you will get this and then you'll see what it does. So it would depend on where the enemy is and where you are, how many spaces away it is, and you go down in sequence until it will do an attack. So you've got the standard attacks that it will do, but also they are varied by the enemy power card that you might draw that will tell it to do a different status effect. So it always gives you a challenge and it will always vary up the uh, attack of the enemies, which is unusual. So the AI is supposed to be very good and it does seem like it's got a lot of crunch to it. Um, here's some of the other uh, minions, like the nests. Okay. And there's traps. If you open a door, you draw a trap card. If you open a chest, you draw a trap card, that kind of thing. Uh, there are lots of abilities and extras that you can add on to your characters and level them up as you go along. So that's the thing for me, it was story driven, it was quite different looking and I didn't realise it had just come out but it seems like it's just come out. So that is my quick uh, guerrilla style review of Sword and Sorcery Ancient Chronicles. <laughs> Thanks for watching.